Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some crazy statements coming out over here when it comes to this huge PlayStation Xbox drama. Now, as you guys know, there's just a lot of moving parts coming out over here, but now we're having huge callouts. Xbox is basically calling out PlayStation. Sony is apparently just doing like a ghosting Xbox, and everyone's in a little bit of a drama hole over here. And as well, Bobby Kotick has also been kind of going on fire, kind of calling out people, kind of calling out things in general. And right now, drama is going at an all-time high. Now, I want those folks out here where I see this stuff and it's kind of entertaining on the outside sense because well obviously if I'm not involved with the drama I like it I like hearing about it but at the same time this just keeps on escalating more and more and more to the point where at some point PlayStation was talking with Xbox they did have discussions there was there was meetings and now it kind of seems like that is all falling flat everything is hitting the fan and things are going well even crazier so we're going to talk about this talk about the story talk about the statements talk about the government talk about literally everything else because this keeps on ramping on up and as well make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to hang up and say hi we have the Target links Amazon links down below and let's dive into the video. So right, first and foremost, we have some pretty big crazy news because Bobby Kotick, aka the man who went under huge fire, a lot of folks are not happy with him, the Activision CEO, where if you guys may or may not remember that huge controversy and drama when it came out to everything going on in the company. People like the huge Activision call out, everyone's like, what is going on? Horrible, horrible things in the gaming universe. But now he opened his mouth and he's now calling out even more major stuff. So very first and foremost, there is huge drama over here with Activision Blizzard CEO is now accusing Sony of trying to literally sabotage this huge Xbox takeover. Bobby Kotick speaks out. Now I'm going to say this really quick. Duh. I mean, that's kind of an obvious statement because Sony does not want to lose Call of Duty. It does not want to lose all these various other games, the Overwatches, World of Warcrafts, or whatever it may be. They don't want to lose it because right now they have like pretty much free access to it. So why would you want to go and either have to have that on a timestamp? of under 10 years, basically the deal that they were proposing, or, well, just lose it all together. And, well, if they can somehow stop that due to, like, legality, monopoly law, antitrust law, or whatever, uh, if I was Sony, I would be doing the same. But it makes it even crazier, because now it seems like the drama has evolved even farther. So in the latest chapter of the never-ending Microsoft and Activision Blizzard saga, which is true, I feel like there's new news coming out once a week, and anything, at least, at, least, at least it's entertaining to me if you guys have been following it, arrives in the form of comments from Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick, who hasn't held back with his dots on Sony's role in the process. Speaking to the Financial Times, we're going to go a little bit more in-depth on his statements too, this week Kotick accused Sony's leadership team of suddenly failing to communicate with Microsoft, suggesting the company could be trying to sabotage the transaction. He reportedly told the outlet that his own calls to Sony's executives haven't even been returned either. So that's a big thing to know. We had the initial like step of like Jim Ryan and all these PlayStation executives trying to go and step up and mention and be like, hey, we want this to work out. Like, hey, yo, bygones be bygones. Give us Call of Duty. We won't try to go and sue you in federal court. Oh, okay, you want to give us maybe more than 10 years? You want to maybe maintain the deals where we get early access on pre-orders? And I'm sure you guys can probably understand from Xbox where they're dropping 70 billion dollars on one of the biggest acquisitions in the entire planet, uh, yeah, they're probably not going to be too happy with that at the end of the day. And that's where things get a little bit more intriguing. As you guys can go and see quoted from Bobby Kotek, suddenly, Sony's entire leadership team stopped talking to anyone at Microsoft. I think this is all Sony just trying to sabotage the transaction. The whole idea that we are not going to support a PlayStation or that Microsoft would not support the PlayStation, it is absurd. Now, this is intriguing because obviously I would, my, like, you know, if you guys ever know, like the biggest first thing you go and do if you're dealing with the court of law, you shut up, you don't talk, you just go and don't say anything, you don't do anything. If you're getting arrested, you say you plead the fifth and you don't say nothing. And that almost kind of seems like what Sony might have done. As this has gone more and more legal, as we're now seeing like the EU antitrust, we're seeing the CMA, we're seeing the literal FTC kind of somewhat being very peculiar on this deal and being very skeptical on this deal too as well. We're seeing all of this pop up more and more. And I do think a lot of folks are very, once again, not really sure on how well this deal is going to go through. But it's intriguing to note that Sony is going cold 
contact. There is nothing. They are not dealing with this. Bobby himself, who probably wants this deal to go through. Don't forget, Bobby Kotek had a lot of drama. If you guys even scroll down in these comments down below, basically, basically saying like, hey, shut up and crawl back in your hole. Hey, Bobby Kotek, thank you for coming out of the shadows to beg for your payout and retirement too. He will say that when he'll be getting a big payout when the deal goes through too as well. And Kotek is a cockroach. <laughs> Look at this disgusting worm. Like, ever all these comments, I mean, he's, he has definitely not been a good person in the gaming community. In response, though, Sony did go and tell the outlet that the company is in contact with Microsoft, but has no further comment regarding our private negotiations. So you basically have one party over here saying that they are not talking to us, they're ghosting us, and then the other one saying we have no further comment. So it does kind of seem like PlayStation is literally ghosting Xbox as of right this second. Now, do I think it's right? I'm not sure. I am kind of want to hear your thoughts down below. In my opinion, it kind of seems... I mean, it makes sense. Like, legally, I would do the same. Let it be dealt with with the law. And right now, it kind of seems like there's a lot of big factors against Xbox, where it kind of seems like for them, you have these big regulatory bodies not wanting to approve this due to regulation. You have this big antitrust for these, like, cloud hosting, which is a really big drama. And you have all this stuff already with these big courts already kind of making the decisions that it's almost maybe even smarter for Sony and PlayStation to kind of back off a little bit, to kind of go and, well, let bygones be bygones and kind of go and see what, like, the FTC says or what, like, the U-Trust goes and says, too, as well. So Kotick also mentioned during the discussion that he believes the UK CMA has been co-opted by the FTC's ideology while failing to think about how this transaction would positively impact the UK. This was followed by a provisional verdict from the UK authority on Wednesday afternoon, which suggested the acquisition could prove harmful to the industry. However, Kotick, even after all this, remained optimistic, at least at the time of the article, that the Microsoft deal was still closed by this year, which I'd be still very surprised if it does. As interesting, too, because we've actually seen a lot more of these comments out here, where we had interviews over here, we see this, with Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick, in an interview with CNBC, stated that the UK's Competition and Market Authority were to block Microsoft's acquisition of the company, it would hurt the ambition of the UK to become the Silicon Valley of Europe. Like, this is, like, the biggest Telling Nueva of gaming history I've ever seen. We have the back and forth. We have the betrayals. We have the contract laws. People are now ghosting people. And now Bobby Kotek, <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Totek over here is trying his best to go and say that this is not going to become Silicon Valley 2.0. If you look at the UK and you think about post-Brexit UK, it's probably the first country where you see a recession and like a real severe consequences of a recession, said Kotick via Video Game Chronicle. If you're in the UK and you have an incredible educated workforce, you have a lot of technical talent. Places like Cambridge, where the best AI and machine learning is, I would think you're going to embrace a transaction like this where you're going to see job creation and opportunity. And it kind of seems like they're almost going to switch in the goat where it's like, hey, you guys may think it's antitrust, you guys might think it's rough, but we're Microsoft. We can literally go and get thousands of new jobs. We can bring your, like, basically country to a lot more revenue because it's big tech money. I mean, Microsoft is one of the biggest companies in the world, and they can essentially try to go and bribe them. I mean, not legally bribe, but at least in this sense, bribe it on the fact that they can maybe go and expand out their economy and hey, maybe have more of a big tech hub and offer really good salaries, benefits, retirements, or whatever it may be to make sure people want to keep moving and staying in the UK. It isn't really all about whether it's Sony or Microsoft's platform, it's really about the future or of technology. And they said now, for the last year, I think Rishi Shunik has said they'd like to be the Silicon Valley of Europe or of the continent. And if deals like this can't get through, they're not going to be Silicon Valley, they'll be Death Valley. So Kotex said he thinks the regulars in the US, UK, and European Union are confused as to who is competing with who in the video game business. He says the competition is against the companies more in Japan and China rather than Sony. Whether it's the FTC or the CMA or the EU, they don't know our industry, so they're trying to come up to speed and understand the industry better, he said. I don't think they fully appreciate that it's a free-to-play business and that the Jap Japanese and Chinese com companies dominate the industry. You look at Sony, you look at Nintendo, they have all these huge libraries of intellectual properties. Sony Studios go back 80 years. Nintendo has the very best characters that exist in video games. And I think they're a little bit confused where competition is today. 
Those companies in the world right now are companies like Tencent and ByteDance, and these are companies that have all protected markets. We've struggled to enter the Japanese market. We can't enter the Chinese market without a joint venture partner, so the competition isn't actually European companies, American companies. It's really those companies in Japan and China. And that kind of goes and stems into the fact that they want these deals to pass in America, they want these deals to go and pass in EU, and they basically want to go and make sure this deal goes and happens, and Bobby Kotek wants to make sure he gets this huge acquisition bonus so i'd love to hear your thoughts and comments because this is actually a really good drama bomb over here so give me your thoughts as well make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on twitter and twitch stream down below we have the targeted amazon links too if you guys want to pick up your consoles and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place